Alright everyone, Vegans here. Um all this video is is um we advertising two things. I'm currently owner of a, a PS4 server. It's a Nitrado run server, so it's a PC run server, so the uh, connections are a lot fucking better than what it is on a console server. On this server we're playing as uh, five tribes within one map. The map is split up into the designated zones, so you got the forest tribe building in the forest zones. The mountain tribe building in the uh, mountain zone, obviously the desert and the desert zone, the swamp people in the swamp zone, and then myself with a few mates playing as pirates on our little, I think we've got about four islands, like a little cluster of island. And with being pirates, I thought I've got to build a fucking boat. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've built a fucking boat, because it's way too easy on the fucking game now to have um, flyers, you know what I mean? So this is just like, a, it's all built in wood at the minute, you know what I mean? It's just as a, a practice to get back into ball building. It's weird when you've had to fly that fucking long, like you fucking forget about fucking shit you can do with boats. Um, through building this, I've noticed a few things that need adjusting on the server, like um, setting platform structure limit and all that. And I need to try and find out a way to work around getting uh, the height as well. I have got adjusted height up for, so you can make like double stories on platforms. I'm not sure how that works on board, so I've got that to look, look at as well. As I say, the server is uh, a bit of a role play server. Um, each tribe within their area must build one headquarters. After the built week, they don't have like they've got to have one headquarter. Other than that, you can have your own build away from your headquarters. You can build near your headquarters, so you got protection, or you can build in your own. You can build your own base away from that, but it's got to remain in your zone. Um, I can't put a picture up at the minute because I haven't one saved on my PlayStation. I would have just uh, set it in the screen overlay, and you would have seen how that our map is split. Um, I don't think I can put one in the descriptions. <laughs> But what I can do is in the video description, I will include the link onto our Facebook page. So for those who are Facebook, excuse me, fly just hits in the eye. So those who are Facebook can jump by onto our uh, Facebook page and check out our server settings, our server rules, the the way the server plays out, and all of our stats. It is a boosted server, but it's not massively boosted. Um, we still want the survival to be part of the game, sort of thing. So, you do have still have food drain, water drain, stamina drain. Your dinos are not uh, boosted. The the only thing that are boosted on the dinos is the weight, just so to help carry more stuff. The health and everything else is same as their uh, official servers. We haven't touched that one bit. Taming and uh, breeding is boosted. I think taming is times ten and breeding is times twenty. Gather is a little bit boosted, but obviously. If you're using your fist, you'll only get a little bit boost. If you're using a, a tool, you'll get a little bit more boost. If it's an advanced tool, you'll get even more boost. If it's a dinosaur, you get even even more boost. That's the way I've got it set sort of shit. So it makes people... I think my control was going to die. It's flashing. All right. It makes people want to go out and tame dinos and uh, gather, so, uh, gather loot drops and all that. Uh, that's my control bar in charge anyway. It makes people want to go out and gather stuff. Like race, uh, not resources, loot drops, go and do the worm cave and uh, team dinos to help them get even more resources quicker. The way the uh, headquarters and all that work, um, each tribe at the minute is set, they've got six main dinos, no one else can tame them, six dinos. Every other dino in the game, anyone can tame. For example, the forest tribe are the only people who are allowed to tame the griffin. So if anyone wants a griffin, they've got to speak to the forest tribe to see if they'll trade one or help them catch one. How they work out the trade, it's totally up to them. I've got nothing to do with that. I'm server admin. I am not a tribe admin. That is all down to the tribe owners, the tribe's people, to work out amongst themselves what they want to actually do. Um, when you're away from your headquarters, you are prone to being attacked. For the first week, um, there will be no PvP, so from today until seven days' time, there's no PvP. No one can get attacked outside their base. Not that's just while people are learning exactly what's going on. 
it is all explained on Facebook. There's a lot of people read it on Facebook, and um, most people do understand exactly how it's going to work and how it is working, sort of thing. Yeah. I think, yeah, I've explained as much as I can on on the about the server itself. The rest of this video, I know it's a long, long video, but I wanted to show the whole process basically for myself. Um, it's to show other people on the server that I am actually playing the fucking game. I'm not spawning shit in. I've, I've already recorded now, but I would have showed you. Admin cheats are turned off. There's no way I can spawn shit on this map. Excuse me, I'm smoking at the same time, my fault. The only time I will put admin cheats on is in for fucking really drastic fucking measures. Like, um, if the lag is really, 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 really horrendous, I will put admin cheat on and do a dino wipe. Um, there's no need to have dino uh, there. Dino wipes. There's no need to have admin cheats on this server. Like drops and fishing is boosted, so nine times out of ten, if you get a high drop, it will have ascendant gear in it. When you go into the worm cave, you're going to end really high gear in there as well. This dino pisses off. I thought it was a fucking shark attack as a first. <laughs> Hope you shot me so. <laughs> Alright, so fishing loot is good and uh, boss cave loot is good. I done a fucking rock golem on Sunday night, like before I reset the fucking server, like change it out from PvE into roleplay sort of thing. And the bo boss gol the lava golem dropped some really really good gear. I did delete it all before I fucking uh, set the server up the day. Everyone who's been on the server has been able to upload their dinos. I did delete every single one of my dinos. I deleted all my structures and all my dinos. This morning I came on and I wiped the whole server off structures only. So those who have already been on the server, who have already uploaded the dinos, they can't get the dinos back. But if they're joining the tribe that isn't allowed to tame the dino what they've already got, they do have to uh, set it to wander and unclaim it or kill it. It's just to make it fair for everyone, you know what I mean? Um, everyone seems happy with it. It's running spot on at the minute. Everyone knows exactly what's going on. Uh, people are tribing up with strangers already, so that's part of the fucking game. Before this server was set the way it was, it was a PvE server. Everyone was happy with each other. Everyone was talking to each other. Everyone was trading with each other. So that's why I got the idea of why not make them... I mean, not make them. Why not have tribes where they can be with each other sort of shit? And that's how the idea came about. I did come up with the original idea where it was um, only certain tribes could build certain armors, but I have changed that out mainly because of the loot drops. Because the loot drops are dropping their uh, flat gear, they're dropping chicken gear, it's all the sender gear and all that, they're dropping their uh, camouflage gear, what you call it, gillies. Uh, so I thought it's pointless having that included. Might as well have it where everyone can uh, make any armor. You know what I'm saying, I. Uh, uh. <laughs> So it's only the six dinos for per tribe. Um, out of those six dinos, though, one is a wyvern and one is a shoulder mount. Each, like um, each tribe has their own separate wyvern. Apart from the pirates, we do not have a wyvern. We're gonna have to trade to get a wyvern. We kind of tame it ourselves. The mountain men, or the mountain tribe, sorry, that's fucking sexist and shit. The mountain tribe have the ice wyvern. The forest tribe have the fire wyvern, the desert tribe have the lightning wyvern, and the swamp tribe have the poison wyvern. So if anyone wants any one of those wyverns, they've got to go and speak to that tribe to either get them an egg or help them get an egg sort of shit. It's up to you how you work it. You could get them an egg and sell it for more, or you can help them get their own egg sort of shit. It's totally up to, like I said before, it's up to the tribe to work out exactly what they want to do. I, I want to try and have as little much, as little input on other tribes as possible. I want them to try and run as how they want to run it. I don't want to interfere in any other way. Um, at the minute on the map, we do have a black zone. That's like a no man zone, no build zone. And that is purely for if someone is really pissing you off in your tribe, they're not building, um, they're not defending when the fucking tribe's getting there, when the headquarters are getting attacked, or they're going out their way and being an absolute twat in the server and attacking other people for no reason. You can kick them from your tribe 
as long as the other the other members of the tribe are in agreement with it they'll be banished the, to the black zone the dark zone the no man's land whatever you want to call it and they'll have to live out there by themselves without being able to tame anyone's dinos they'll only have the basic dinos in the game the farming dinos the vexes uh, gigas you know i mean they won't be able to do the list of dinos what every tribe has <coughs> they can try and get back into any tribe at any point by pleading by begging by trading you know what i mean or just by playing asking you know what i mean eventually we may try and recruit more people into our tribe but at the minute I'm only doing it as uh, as, uh, as my friend sort of shit. We've got about eight members at the mem we eight members who can play at the minute. I don't want to uh, push my friends out sort of thing. I want to keep my friends in my tribe. If they want to leave the tribe, that's fair for play. You know what I mean? But later on down the line, if needs be, we probably will recruit into our tribe as well. But bearing in mind, our tribe is like. We are pirates, but we're mercenaries as well. We people for hire. So, if you are in a tribe war, if you want us to help you defend your headquarters or attack the enemy headquarters, we will do that. But we will put in chat. We are working for this tribe. We are working for that tribe. Just so nothing comes back on us. So everyone's in understanding of what we're doing. It is all explained on Facebook. Everyone's happy with that. Everyone's quite chuffed with the idea. To be honest, like they're happy that we are willing to work with people, not just be cunts by ourselves. saying that as well if we ever do you wrong in any way if we go out and tame a dino that's your fucking dino you can kick off with us and you can come and attack us our base is set up just the same as yours we will have a headquarters we will have our own private uh, quarters this area just behind me you'll see is popping in and out every now and again that's my own private fucking quarters that is not the headquarters once we do have a headquarters up and running we'll tell you exactly where it is you can f <laughs> Feel free to visit the headquarters whenever you want, but be warned, we will have turrets in place, we will have expanse in place, we will have traps in place, we will have aggressive dinos in place. And that's what fucking having a headquarters is all about, to be honest. So. <coughs> right, as I say, this is a long-ass fucking video, there's about 40 minutes left, and it's all about the boat builds, you'll see us go out gathering stuff, you'll see us building stuff, you will see not a single admin sheet at all. That's the way I want it to be, that's the way it's going to be, and that's the way it fucking is. Um... I try and help people as much as I can in the game, whenever I fucking can. If I'm way too busy, I, like, like this is a candy build, you know. What I mean, you, you can see the video is 51 minutes long, and that is cut down as well. <laughs> there is parts where I'm like just gathering, you know what I mean. So I do cut a little bit of it off at the time. With it being on the PlayStation 4 as well, I can't play two hours of fucking game and then upload it. I've got to do the intervals. I think it's uh, I think I've got mine set to 60, 60 minute in no, 30 minute intervals. That's why you'll see a little stutter every now and again. That's just where I'm clipping the clips together, sort of shit. <coughs> when it comes to stuff like um, doing headquarter battles, all of that, I will live stream them, and that's purely so you can see that I am not using any admin cheats at all. I have not got infinite stats on a fuck all like that. I am playing PvP, sort of shit. <laughs> I'm not cheating in any way. I don't want people to come across and say, ah, oh, he's using ad admin fucking abuse and all that shit. He's using admin commands, admin power. I'm not that sort of fucking person. I try and be as straight as I fucking can, whenever I fucking can, you know what I mean? You've seen us on Facebook, you'll hear us in my fucking videos. I am me. I play the game sort of shit. Right. <laughs> Sorry for waffling on like a fucker for the last 15 minutes. Um, As I said, I will Facebook uh, link will be in the description below. And I will try and include a little bit more uh, information in the description below. If you watch this far into the video, thank you very fucking much. If you stay to the end and see what the final build looks like, thank you very much as well. Bear in mind this is a prototype. <laughs> I do name the board prototype as you've already seen. But uh, this is just to get a basic idea of how to build boats again. Right. I'm Vengeance. Thanks for watching. Catch us all later. Bye.